During the 1950s, Avril Canada used a top-secret facility to test its equipment. Located in an area called Point Peter in Prince Edward County, the facility also tested Avro Aero models that were used to develop the ill-fated Avro Aero. Now, 60 years later, I wanted to find these abandoned Avro test facilities. Our adventure begins in the southwest part of Prince Edward County. Here, there is an active military installation, so there's no trespassing. Walking along the shoreline of Lake Ontario, where Avro would have fired the Avro test models, we came across some old ruins and traveled through thick underbrush. After about an hour and a half of trudging through the thick underbrush towards where the launch pad would have been, we came across the fenced off area with the test site in behind. The satellite image shows clearly where the old test pad would have been near the lake where these Avro Aero models were fired from. Before the Avro Aero, the site was also used in the 1950s for CF-100 rocket firing tests into the waters of Lake Ontario as shown here. Not much remains other than some old concrete ruins, but a curious other facility was seen on Google Maps that turned out to be a rocket and missile anti-aircraft training base during the Cold War. This long abandoned facility would have housed missiles and rockets during the Cold War for training, and anti-aircraft artillery such as this one. It was also the site of the failed Felvic Glove missile program that was developed for use with the Avro Aero. Another curious feature found on Google Maps was this odd ring shape in the middle of nowhere. This mysterious ring shape was apparently used by Avro and Arenda engines to test the jet engine for the Avro Aero on a tethered pole. Only accessible by foot, we trudged through some thick underbrush to see this abandoned piece of Canadian aviation history. And soon we broke through the trees and there it was, the Arenda Ring. After 60 years, this concrete and asphalt facility is still quite visible. The asphalt circular track was still there, and investigating towards the center, we found the original tether post. <laughs> 